Hi there, I'm Vicky Parvino from Aussie Stampers. Welcome back to part two of the new annual catalogue walkthrough. I apologise for the break in transmission. I know it was quite abrupt there. Uh, for some reason, YouTube was not allowing me to upload a video of this length, so I've broken it into two parts. So we're picking up from page 85 of the annual catalogue from the A Little Wild stamp set. And if you missed the first part of this video, I'm putting part one, the link to that, in the information box up in the top right hand corner. So you just click on that. It will take you directly to that first video. I have another one which I've given away to somebody because it was just so adorable. I wanted them to have it. It had the honey bear on it. Uh, this is another one with the floating tool window and the lion on the back. And I have a process video on that, floating tool window cards, if you want to scroll back and have a look at that. I've also made these action wobblers. And I cut them out with the framelits and I put some googly eyes on them. So there's the little bear. And I just put a little message inside. And I think they're really sweet for a little child to receive. I think they're gorgeous. Action wobblers you can get from um, a store like Spotlight or, or you can get them online. They're really just very simple little plastic springs that go on the back of it. And here's the elephant and I put bigger eyes on him. You can see he's got slightly bigger eyes than the other ones. So love this project. And that was just with some washi tape across the bottom and bordered in black. So very simple, easy to make. That paper has retired, but as I said before, you can find another paper that will coordinate quite nicely and use whatever colors you like. So that's the Little Wild stamp set. New one is Fastened with Love, which is a baby bib. It's kind of cool and um, it just looks very sweet. Like you can put the little animal faces on the bib and that's just gorgeous, lovely. Okay, Foxy Friends returning favorite and that has a punch that goes with it and you can make lots of things with that. New one, Treehouse Adventure. This is a great one for kids to use. I think with the photopolymer stamps, this would be an easy one for children to have fun with making a little house and putting it together because you can look right through the stamp to see where to position it. Inspired Events. So this has a lovely font going with it and lots of those marker things in life. And a gorgeous little Sweet Baby. Isn't that lovely? It's called Sweet Baby and it's a bundle it has framelit dies that go with it you can make some gorgeous things with that very simple it even has a little rug to wrap it in and these little hats that go on top cute here's precious delivery this is another new baby stamp and it has a stalk you're invited so you could actually use this for a baby shower as well Fairy celebration this is a returning favorite i have some cards i've made using this stamp i'm going to show you Again, I have process videos on all of these. Two different ways of using the main stamp here. And one was just attaching with some washi tape on some background and then using the smaller image inside. And then this one using oval framelits. And then I created this banner and embossed it in white. So it's really soft gray, white and silver. I love this. In real life, this looks really, really pretty. And then inside I've just used this image here in the soft grey ink. And then I have a watercolour masterclass on how to actually watercolour this using the Stampin' Up! ink pads as your palette. Also, I'll show you how I did the inside as well. So that's a masterclass video. So if you want to scroll back and have a look at that, I have a process video on these as well. So here's the little elephant that I was telling you about that has the little punch that goes with it. So that's very sweet and very cute easy one for little children to use as well okay granny apple green welcome to a new color so this is a nice color it's really it is it's definitely granny apple green i can't think of a better way to describe this one it's really nice so under the mistletoe features this color in the designer paper um, i can see sort of some of that brighter color in there but this is lovely isn't that pretty mistletoe season mm. the gold library clips are continuing and this is a returning favourite and also the framelit dies that go with it. Cookie Cutter Christmas. This has been so much fun in class because it's just, it's a no-brainer this one. You can make so many pretty cards with it. You don't really have to think too hard at all. And you can just keep it really basic if you're just feeling like I just want to punch out uh, something and make a little tag with it. This is using the tag topper punch. 
Uh, but yeah, you can make really fun things with these. And then if it's tipped up this way, it makes this shape here, which is the reindeer. So there's a punch that goes with these as well. But yeah, that's that's so much fun. I'm glad they've continued it. Okay, the Christmas section, I'm on page 98 here. Returning favourite, Star of Light, Night in Bethlehem, which is gorgeous. Nature Sings, which is also a lovely one, returning. Snowflake Sentiments, Merry Christmas, etc. This is a new one, Stylish Christmas, which is a poinsettia. Um, I think in the USA you call it a poinsettia. I'm pretty sure in Australia it's called a poinsettia, but close. Hearts Come Home, which is another lovely one, and it has nice framelits that go with it. So you can create little village scenes. That's fun. I've seen some beautiful cards made with that. Another returning favourite is Ready for Christmas. And you can get really hectic with this and make like full on construction type cards if that's what you like to do. Seasonal Chums. This is very similar to the A Little Wild framelits where you get the front and the back. So they would lend themselves to that floated tool window card quite nicely. Labels to Love has a coordinating label with it. And this suite is Petal Promenade. We're on page 106 now. This is really, again, very vintage, very old school look about it. I think this stamp set is just gorgeous. It has a really nice images in it and really nice sayings. That comes with matching die cuts. And you can see they're very delicate die cut framelits here with this one in particular. And this has been cut from the paper. So the designer paper is very pretty as well. And there's some rhinestone gems, which are more unusual shapes so they are shaped like actual gems very soft pink okay best birds now this is one of the stamp sets and framelits i've had a massive amount of use out of i'm going to show you some of the projects that i made with this already i had a whole suite i made using one stack of designer paper and i used a stack that is now retired but you can use something similar to this and get a similar effect with the new papers as well. You can see how much I loved using this. It was one of my absolute favorites with the blue and white papers. So I used a heart framelit and created this with one of the framelits I had in my stash. That's an older one. These are all made with that stamp set. And I just love how this turned out. I love indigo blue. It's one of my favorite colors. This one's particularly soft and pretty too with the ribbon and this one these are the die cuts the little die cut birds reversed so you had one on each end and a stitched frame inside of it and then this one i just added lots and lots of bling i took some rhinestones and colored them in with a sharpie or you could use a, a, a blendable marker from stampin up and i just thought that was very sweet i love all of those I also made a couple in a different colorways using the netting image on here and some washi tape and I made a second one I have a process video on this to show you how to make this and the second one I made so that was a best birds video you can find that if you scroll back all right now let's see what else we have here floral phrases that's continuing kindness and compassion is a new one so it has a lot of nice kind messages Gratitude, thank you, sympathy, condolences, and that would be beautiful inside a sympathy card too. So over on page 110, there is this beautiful stamp set here, which is called Healing Hugs. And it's a distinctive stamp, which is something new. So if you see this little banner here, it's telling you that the stamp will stamp in several shades with one stamping. So if you look at the leaves, you can see there's a light and a dark leaf. So that'll come out like this. And the rose itself will have the impression of having a light, a medium and a dark color that's been stamped. So I'll bring it up a bit closer for you there. You can see how that works. That's a lovely stamp. And I like having get well stamp sets because I do like to send a card when someone's not well. So I'll definitely be ordering that one. On page 111, we have Beautiful Bouquet, which coordinates with the Bouquet Bunch framelits. Now, I have a project here that I've made using the framelits that coordinate with this. And there's a process video of this on my channel as well. And I've just put together using this stamp here, thanks a bunch, and the framelits that go with it. 
I've made an envelope which has a lavender flower on it and I've made a stamped muslin bag which I can't show you because I've already gifted that to somebody but I filled a muslin bag with lavender after I stamped a greeting on it and there's a process video of that as well but how I created this was with the bouquet bunch framelits and just some baker's twine which I wound around the stems there and popped it all up add a little doily I put some embossing as you can see on the card itself and I was really happy with that how that turned out okay bright wishes is continuing sunshine sayings also has the, the thinlets that goes with it continuing this is a puzzle die and from what I can see you can see there it's like a jigsaw puzzle I'm not sure if that cuts it completely or if it just imprints it to look like a puzzle or what it is I know there's a puzzle piece you can cut out and the heart you can cut out so love you to pieces that's interesting I'm really looking forward to seeing what people make with that because it, I'm quite quite interested in that and it comes as a bundle ribbon of courage continuing I'm sorry um, for everything that's a continuing one Sunny Days, this is new, this is a lemonade stand and summertime stamps, I guess. Friendly Conversation, nice big stamps with a couple of smaller ones here. Uh, continuing Favourite Lemon Zest, which coordinates with the punch. Dandelion Wishes, this is very sweet. And look at this beautiful scrapbook layout that's been made with this. I do like this. I think that's really pretty. That's made with some of the cards, the large letter framelets or thinlets and and this lovely size stamp it's a really good size for a 12 by 12 page petal palette is continuing which is a lovely one and it has some thinlets that go with it so if they're shaded in gray like this that means if there's a solid gray image it means something coordinates with it that's page 119 okay the next suite is tropical escape look at how lush this is and how bright it is it's beautiful so the colors in this are blushing bride granny apple green and shaded spruce so two new green colors that have come out and it has the matching thinlet dies i call them framelets or thinlets or dies um, so they're not necessarily the correct term but that's the terms that i've come to know them as but they look lovely and you can make some beautiful cards with those in particular you can make this whole card front which is from this one piece so that's quite clever something a bit different a big thank you is new lots of different ways to say thank you that's nice daisy delight is a continuing favorite thankful thoughts this is another one that has continued and it's got some beautiful sayings in it i really do like the sayings in this i think it's really lovely and i'm going to show you some things i've made with this stamp set so this was part of a card kit and I changed the kit a little bit to make this stamp and used this sentiment which I like your generosity is second only to your fabulosity I thought that was kind of cool so I used one of the card kits changed it up a bit put the thanks inside it and used the envelope that came with and changed it to make it my own so I really did like that the other thing that I've made is a whole box of cards I have a process video of how to make this box and how to do the embossing and all the rest of it and how to make the cards that go inside it these were cased from the catalog last year and I've made envelopes and cards changed it up a little bit from what was there now these papers are no longer available but the stamp set and the circle frames and the rest are and you've can make the envelopes with your envelope punch boards so that was a project that I really enjoyed doing there is a process video for the cards there is also a process video on how to make the boxes that they fit that will fit the cards inside them so that's another one okay now moving on we have all things thanks another thank you stamp set I, I think thank you cards and birthday cards are the two cards that I use the most so I like collecting birthday sentiments and thanks sentiments and often they're nice to put inside a card as well be thankful which is a b that's cute for coloring so i do like that that's that's very adorable 
Okay, Blackberry Bliss, this is an old colour that's come back. This stamp set here is absolutely lovely, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Okay, so this is the Wonderful Moments stamp set. So there's pregnancy, there's wedding, there's happy birthday shopping or going to somebody's birthday party, I suppose. Really lovely. Garden Impressions Suite. So this has a big butterfly framelit. Now the this is the new butterfly framelit that's replacing the other one. Really sweet. This is the shape here. You can see we're on page 128 now if you're following along. Now if you want to get a copy of this catalogue just go to my website and download it onto your iPad and you'll have it there or onto your desktop and you'll have it there to look through whenever you want. And I love having mine on my iPad because I often take my iPad when I'm going to an appointment or going out and I just scroll through and see what I'd like to try next and get some ideas. So that's a good way for you to get one of these yourself. If you want to order anything, please go ahead and order from my website. If you live in Australia, it's www.aussiestampers.stampinup.net. I would really appreciate it if you used me as your demonstrator and popped an order through for some of this lovely product here. So the Abstract Impressions bundle has three die cuts, which is this lovely corner cut piece. I did see that somewhere. I don't think it's in that picture, but it'll come up again. And this gorgeous butterfly, which is very nice. And the stamp set here, Abstract Impressions. Okay, Artisan Textures. I love having a texture stamp set to do backgrounds. It looks like you've got some fancy mixed media going on and it's just a stamp, so that's good. Garden Impressions Designer Series Paper. This is a 6 by 6 inch pack or a 15.2 by 15.2 centimetre stack. And you get 48 sheets. So that's a really good way to sample a lot of papers. And they're really pretty. Lots of nice colours in those. Blossoms Elements are some little flowers that go with two ribbon cardstock. And embossing mats, which I believe are new with the Big Shot. So you can use them, them on some of the new embossing folders that are coming out. A new one is Calls for a Celebration. And that's a really useful stamp set there. I do like that. So this is an uninked ombre stamp pad, I do believe. Yes, uninked spectrum pad. And so you've, <laughs> you have custom colours. So these have been custom made on an uninked pad. That's kind of clever too. Okay, You're Inspiring, which is daffodils. Lovely. And Beautiful You is a returning favourite. So it's very similar to that stamp set that I showed you before. In fact, I think they're a good combination to have two of these together because it goes very well with the Wonderful Moments stamp set. Very similar ideas. It's lovely. Okay, Lilypad Lake has framelits that go with it as well, and this is great. Okay, so that's a good one. You can build some things with that. Beautiful day. I have some things to show you with this that I've been using. I have a video that is coming up shortly or may have just published. I'm not quite sure. Showing you how to get a really interesting effect with the Beautiful Day butterfly stamp. And I've also embossed the flap of the envelope just to make it a little bit special but I've popped it up onto dimensionals and I have a technique here that I'm calling the fuzzy edge technique it gives you a black fuzzy edge and I show you how you can work in watercolors with a stamp that is not waterproof and show you how you can get this very gorgeous soft blurred edge effect so that is a process video that is either up at the moment or it will be coming up shortly on my channel here on the aussie stampers channel so that's that stamp set i also had some fun with that stamp set in my art journal and i just went crazy with this vivid ink background and i don't know if you can see the shine I embossed it with black embossing powder and I had so much fun with undiluted ink refills. You can see how vibrant that is. It was, And I gave it this beautiful loose background finish and different colours going on. So I have that. That was on my Instagram page. So um, that's another one that uses that butterfly stamp with a different technique. It also has a beautiful rose which lends itself to the same treatment here, which is lovely. Okay, Artistically Asian is a returning favourite. 
new one is floral frames now this is very trending at the moment is to have this circular shape and then you can stamp something inside it which is lovely and it coordinates with the foliage frame framelit so this these pieces here that are gray coordinate with the framelits and there's the bundle there there's wonderful moments it has some beautiful sayings with it as well so that is really gorgeous and i think it's just one of those must-have stamp sets i think it's going to be a really top seller that one swirly frames which gives you some background frames it looks as though you have a frame and all you've done is just stamp it so that's a time saver it coordinates with the layering squares framelit dies as well and the layering circles so you can get this framed effect Dragonfly Dreams is a returning favourite, so is Eastern Beauty and the framelits that go with that, and so is Painted Harvest. I'm going to show you a card I made using this stamp set here, the Painted Harvest. So it's very sweet and pretty. Again, this uses retired paper, but you can find some soft paper that will work with this. And it's been layered up. You can see I've layered it, cut it out several times, added the layers on, put it together and it's made a sweet card so that is painted harvest and that's one of the examples of what you can do with that card so here we have the sheltering tree stamp set this is an old favorite and i love this i use a lot of the other stamps for different things too like this makes a great background so does this you can make things by turning it on its side or or tipping this upside down but also using it as it's planned which is with a tree the next is fabulous flamingo and this is one I did a little short process on my Instagram of how to create this in my art journal. It's really nice and big and bold and I just love it. And I've used a lot of the sayings inside some of the cards that we've made in class as well. And you could add an extra color to this. I've just kept it simple and used three colors, but you could put in black legs. You could color the beak black depending on what colors you wanted to use on your stamps as well so it, it can be even more detailed than this but that's on my instagram and that was a very popular little hyperlapse video i did a very speedy little video of some stamping playful backgrounds are really useful and i enjoy that stamp set i like it a lot it's a, ret a returning favorite now the next suite is nature's poem how are we going there have you got yourself a cup or have you paused have you taken a break it's going to be a very long video you can see i'm almost through my herbal tea page 142 and nature's poem is gorgeous look at this rooted in nature stamp set this reminds me a lot of the lovely as a tree stamp set which i'm happy to say is still in here um, it's very similar to that um, i know it's still in there somewhere this is one of the cards I made with the lovely as a tree stamp set and it gets a lot of comments. I've just added some dazzling diamonds glitter and done a sunset sponge in the background. So simple, but just popping it onto a black border piece is what makes all the difference. And this um, saying here has retired, but the stamp set is still going strong. I think it's been in there almost forever. Everybody loves this stamp set. But I think this is very evocative of the lovely as a tree stamp set it's called rooted in nature it has framelit dies that go with it so you can cut out all the shapes if you like doing all the cut out pieces as well and nature's poem designer paper what beautiful soft colors these are they're just gorgeous so there's some examples there the high tide stamp set is a returning favorite i've seen some thoroughly beautiful cards with this gorgeous examples of creating a scene with stamping so that's a lovely one and the sayings are absolutely beautiful country living is a returning one mediterranean moments in tuscan vineyard also returning stamps there's our lovely as a tree i said it was in there yes it is it's in there and some examples of how to make that one as well now here is another idea that i cased in my sneak peek videos so i'll show you the cards that i've made from here i chose to make three of these cards i didn't make this one here but i did make the other three using the waterfront stamp set and these i also did in the class and they were a very popular set these three so this is using the waterfront stamp set but it can also be used in a traditional fashion to make a scene so if you look at this, I mean, this, there's many, many things you can do with this. You can turn this into mountains. You can turn these little into little houses on a suburban street. I've seen all kinds of things. You can make it a sun or a moon. 
and I've put some speckles on this I don't know if you can see I don't is the camera picking that up I just hit it with the Kindy Glitz in Crystallina, which is one of my favourite go-tos. It's not a Stampin' Up product, but it's a very well-known crafters product. You, if you didn't have that, you could probably use Dazzling Detail Splitter. But I love the fact that it had the green shimmer in it because it just picked up the green in the card. And I did this in a class and people were absolutely gobsmacked that they were able to create something that looked like it was a watercolour art piece just with some stamps. So that waterfront, I've seen some amazing things. Again, with the trees, this look of trees in the forest is very trending where you can have a, a group of trees and it looks as though there's a whole copse of trees behind them. And that was really fun to do. So I have a process video on how to do these three as well. That's page 149, Waterfront. Returning favourites, Floral Statements, Southern Serenade. A new one is All the Good Things. And this is a picture of a koi, and it's a lovely stamp, this one. It's something that you can make look quite artistic here. So on page 152 is a returning favourite Magical Mermaid. I've seen some gorgeous cards made with this. And one of the tips I could give you is to add something like Kindy Glitz or Glitter to the tail. Um, some dazzling diamonds detail or something like that or some just glitter glue in clear and the tail looks as though it's made of actual scales it's just beautiful and so many things you can do with this also up here you'll see this is an unusual looking stamp this is called bokeh dots and it has two stamps that come with this one has the bokeh technique which you would know is a photography technique the other has like a galaxy technique so this stamp up here uses the galaxy technique this is this stamp here and it's been created using that punch and it's been patchworked or i guess you'd say pieced paper pieced together to create this card front with just a little doily under it great idea okay now the touches of texture stamp set this is what i showed you earlier that i stamped on this envelope but I have created another card using this stamp set, which is quite different. It's using this, these two images here. I've created a double bouquet by stamping them side by side. I've used Stampin' Up! watercolour paper, and I stamped them in stays on ink. Without touching the centres of the flowers, leaving that dry, I put a wash over the entire section of the card. And I started with my markers and just brought in my markers and drew a line next to the stems and pulled it away using my paintbrush and my aqua brush and just pulled it away from the areas and created this little pooling effect all the way around. So that gave a really nice effect. Then I went back in and I colored the flower. As you can see with this image, it looks like a single image. I've created a striped flower just by using my markers and colouring in sections and leaving some sections plain white. And then to create this effect where it looks as though the flowers are actually three dimensional, if I bring it up a little closer, you can see there's a white ring around the edge which shows where the light would be hitting the flowers. I created that using my white gel pen just by stippling small dots all around the outside. So that was a technique that I've had a lot of comments on. People have asked me, how on earth did you make that? And so I thought I'd tell you how I did it using the watercolour paper, using a wash over the entire paper with the exception of the two flower heads, which I left dry and then came in and hand coloured them and just did a slight little bit of blending with a tiny amount of water in my aqua brush and just leaving those petals as though they were striped. And so it gives you a striped flower. So I was happy with how that turned out. So I thought I'd share it with you. And I just lined the inside with the same watercolour paper so that when I write on the inside, it looks as though the inside matches the outside rather than putting a white piece or a cream piece in. I just lined it with the watercolour paper. Now this suite is Tranquil Textures and it has this gorgeous sea theme and lots of die, interesting die cuts with this so it has a kind of a net I'm just looking to see if I can see if there's something that shows this net maybe on the next page no it's not 
yes there it is ah i knew it was here somewhere okay i'm going to bring this up and show you because this is quite i think this is quite fun it looks like you've put a piece of netting under there but this is actually cut out using one of the die cuts i think that's very clever and there are some sand dollars that cut out with the die cuts so it's really lovely so that's called sea of textures and it does come in a bundle and pretty papers that go with that oh so eclectic returning with the framelits timeless textures returning seize the day is a lovely one and i'm going to buy this one and use it in my nature walk journals when i do my nature documenting in the royal national park i love it and our, our park does have deer in it and yes this could be a little bit like me <laughs> i think it's a guy actually i don't, can't tell if it's a girl or a guy i think you, you mentioned you know it can be either but i like that i think it's lovely and then this stamp set here i can see so many uses for this so they've made some really nice cards with that. Peaceful Reflection is a new one. So you can add the pieces together. And then there's a technique where you can get the reflection by turning the stamp over on the block, applying ink and stamping it on the paper. So you use the reverse of the stamp. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Turn it over and stick the reverse side on. Aha, there's a tip for you guys. Okay, Swirly Bird is an old returning one. Bunch of blossoms, an old returning one has a punch that goes with. This is very sweet and it's called Sweet Storybook. A couple of little mice and a toadstool and it's all cut out and set in a little frame. It's really adorable and I can just see that being very popular as well. So that's a bundle. Uh, Colourful Seasons is returning. So that is that has some uh, framelits that go with it, that as well. And one of the most, my favourite is the Adirondack chair here, the beach chair. <laughs> Lovely. I love that. Okay, Woodwords, that's a returning favourite. Gallery Grunge is a new grungy stamp set. So again, that nice grungy background, useful to have. Country Road, great for horse lovers. That's gorgeous. And this is gorgeous. I can see that coming into a lot of different um, uses as well in a card. Okay, now we have the Graceful Glass Suite. Now this to me looks really quite different. A lot of it is using the vellum. So you get 24 sheets of vellum and they're six by six. And this is all the different ways they've been used. So this is a whole new look. A lot of them have been colored using the Stampin' Blends. And a lot of the stained glass techniques that you can do are to actually color on the back and flip it over so that you're seeing the front side. And some of these look as though they've been created that way, where you color the back of the, the vellum and flip it over so you can see the stained glass effect coming through. Painted Glass is the stamp set and thinlet dies here. Another bundle. Page 166, Serene Garden. This one has framelit dies as well. So that comes as a bundle. Beautiful, soft images there. It looks like a dove and just very peaceful. Serene Garden, lovely. Bouquet Blooms. So this coordinates with some framelit dies from the Gatefold Blossoms, the Layering Circle framelits, the Stitch Shapes framelits. And the circle punch so there's a lot of things so if you like to layer 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 with one stamp set and a few different things this would be great for you this has a special folded edge on it this now i'm looking at is at page 167 and it is the bouquet bloom stamp set and gatefold blossoms framelit dies so it gives you that gatefold but it also has a little cut edge on the end of it so that's really clever something different falling flowers is a returning favorite with framelits amazing congratulations this looks really fun so it's kind of a layer where you get this layered effect of modern calligraphy i suppose yeah it looks quite fun i think that would be an interesting one to try better with you is a new stamp set here this is sweet and you can use the no line watercoloring look by stamping the image with sahara sanding before watercoloring well there's a tip as well okay lovely gorgeous page 170 ready to layer another layering card so this is great if you have the stamparatus which is a stamp positioning tool or any other stamp positioning tool that you might have you can do this with so you layer one then another then another then another so it's a four step and how cool does that look like people will be saying how on earth did you make that and it's something you really need a stamp positioner to make i think but it's it's a great way to use the stamparatus Okay, picked for you, great one for the teacher, like that. 
yes, teacher gifts are something that I think a lot of people are looking out for, whether it's preschool or school teachers. And when I was teaching primary school and infants school, which we call infants school in Australia, kindergarten, I guess, I loved getting these sorts of gifts at the end of the year because it was so nice to read the inside of the cards and know that I'd made a difference. So it just was a really heartwarming thing. So I like giving gifts to my teachers as well. Okay, now the background stamps. Fantastic carryover of some of the existing stamps that we have here. This is one of the cards that I cased using the marbled stamp set. So this is how mine turned out. And I used a different sentiment on the stamp, but I used the similar idea of putting a vellum piece on top of the marbled, some silver ribbon underneath. And can you see there's some little enamel dots on there? It's hard to see them. Let's see if the camera can pick them up, three little enamel dots. And I cased it from this one here and using slightly different colors, but a similar techniques and a slightly different stamp, I came up with something that was pretty close. There is a process video of how I made this one on my sneak peeks videos. And there is also a process video of this little beauty here. So this is using the marble stamp set, embossing it in black and using some gold wink of Stella, which I do believe has retired now. I can't see it in the catalogue anywhere. Let me know if I'm wrong there, but I didn't see it. And then this Celebrate Framelit, which is one of the um, continuing framelits that we have. Now, another thing I wanted to show you that I created using this framelit here, working in my art journal, I created a galaxy watercolour by masking out a circle that I had cut out using the circle framelits. And I used the You Are Amazing, printed that using a black Sharpie and using a white gel pen made some little stars. I really wanted to try a galaxy watercolor and that's what I came up with. So that's another set of framelits that are continuing as well as the Celebrate. So here we have marbled, postscript, sheet music, hardwood, tree rings and burlaps. So all of those are continuing stamps. And there is a new one that is called Handwritten. And this is the size of it here. It has lovely sayings on it. It says, Danke, love, alles Liebe, merci, bonjour, have courage, inspire, create, share, love. So it's lots of different languages but all in this lovely gorgeous handwritten calligraphy script so that's the size of it this is the size of all of those black background stamps and it's a rubber stamp you can mount that onto a block or I think it might be available in wood as well so yes two options so that's the handwritten lovely background stamp how are we going <laughs> I've almost finished my tea yes Feel free to put me on pause and go and attend to other things if you need to. We are at 173, so we're kind of almost getting towards the end of the catalogue. So if you see any here that, anything here that you like and you live in Australia, I would love it if you ordered from me at aussiestampers.stampinup.net. I would appreciate your custom very much. Thank you. This is Pick a Pennant, and this is Pick a Pennant Stamp Set and Playful Pennants Framelit Dies. And this looks really interesting. I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like almost cut out, but not quite. It looks like you can cut it and then fold it back on itself. So that's going to be a fun one to play with. That's a little bit blurry. I'll just hold it still for you. Okay. And that has 76 stamps with it. So all the alphabets that you need to work with those pennants. I think that would be a lot of fun. And with the Stamparatus, it makes it really easy to align all your stamps up anyway. Okay, if you don't know what the Stamparatus is, it's a stamp alignment tool and it's very good. It's just come out and it's just something that is one of those tools that <laughs> it'll change the way you stamp. It really opens up possibilities for lots of things. Now here we have lined alphabet stamp set and layering la alphabet edgelet dies. So these edgelet dies you can use as an edge as they are here or you can cut off the edge and just use the the letters which is useful as well. See how it's been layered so they layer up. This hand lettered alphabet is a continuing favorite the labeler alphabet continuing letters for you continuing with the framelit dies brushwork continuing favorite 
The next suite is Share What You Love. This makes some really pretty things. I do like the paper on this. It's very soft and floral. It has an embellishment kit that goes with some pearlized doilies. And this is the stamp set, Love What You Do. Isn't that pretty? Really soft, really lovely. The Make a Difference stamp set. This is the Stampin' Up logo alphabet. Uh, sorry, not, well, it is an alphabet, but it has the Stampin' Up logo on. So if you want to sell your products via the angel policy, you can use either of these stamp sets here. The Crafting Forever is a continuing one. It's been a big favorite. The angel policy means if you want to sell them, as long as you, well, let me read it to you. You can sell products you've made with Stampin' Up's copyrighted images if they include one of Stampin' Up's stamps on them. See the Crafting Forever and Make a Different stamp sets. So I have sold quite a lot of my cards in a gallery in King Street, Newtown and other places as well. I've sold some in other art galleries too and I've put the little Stampin' Up um, copyrighted stamp on the back so that that allows me to make money from selling cards. And I know there are a lot of you out there who make cards and sell them, whether it's on Etsy or whether it's on um, in shops or other places or at school fairs and school fates. Um, it's a good way to pick up a little bit more income. So this is a Knight of Navy that it's um, show, showcasing here. The ribbon's just a pretty page. And then we get back to the colour assortment. So there has been a change in the colour. There's been a colour refresh along with the new in colours. And some of the refreshed colours are returning colours. So some of the old favourites have come back. And you can see you can buy the whole set of ink pads that are the new return, new and re returning core colours. Um, so that has 16 stamp sets in it. So that helps build up your um, colours, I guess. And the neutrals has a few colours that I wouldn't really consider calling neutrals, but they're in there anyway. There's Mossy Meadow, Knight of Navy and Merry Merlot. So I, I'm having to get used to the idea that then they're not in these other selections, but that's just the way it's been done. So there are still the neutrals, brights, subtles and regals, but they have different colours in them. So you'll want to check those out and have a look and see how the colours have changed slightly. And if you have any old colours that have been sitting around, you can bring them back out again now. So now the designer series paper, really lovely. And I've talked about this all the way through, these sets and what suites they come from. Very, very pretty. And I love the designer paper. I think it's great to work with. Very excited to have a look at this designer vellum that's already printed. And this is the specialty laser cut paper. It's only two sheets, but it's you can make six card fronts from this one and lots of different pieces and you can cut it all up if that's what you like and more so the designer paper is lovely there are some six by six stacks the wood textures is looks like the old wood textures paper so that's one of the papers that they've kept in and then the in color six by six the rest are the 12 by 12 size and what else is new? Some coloured doilies are new, the pearlized doilies are new, the copper tea tins are new. This is pretty much generally all the same, not too much different in there. Maybe the champagne foil sheets, I don't, I, I don't know how new they are, I know I don't have any yet. So um, everything else pretty much has already been included in other catalogues. The new items here are the lustrous white gable boxes and the craft pillow boxes. The copper tea tins, of course. The delightfully detailed note cards and envelopes are new. Uh, the glimmer paper, there is rose, which I already have some from a long time ago. So I have all of those. So that was lucky. Okay, whisper white memories and more cards and envelopes. Small and large size. So they, they use with the memories and more cards. So you can create your card already just by popping them onto those. So that's really quick and easy. And the memories and more journaling section here, very similar to what was there before. Memories and more card pack in tea room and delightfully detailed. Memories and more card pack in best route and big plans. Embellishments. I think one of the key things that's new is these 
petal pink rhinestone gems that is very new adhesive back sequins are very good for people who get frustrated because they can't put their sequins on i have been there believe me best root enamel shapes these are kind of cool they've got some interesting shapes in them as well candle embellishments 12 little tiny candles that looks fun um, some leaves trinkets brad sequins tranquil textures sprinkles is great if you're doing a seaside themed piece have some lovely more copper vinyl stickers i did love the gold vinyl stickers in the last catalog so i'm sure i'm going to love these too uh, the washi tape is there's not quite so much washi tape this time so washi tape maybe has had its big day and this maybe not as not as popular as it was or we've just all, all got so much washi tape we don't know what to do with it but this is continuing this is new the best root washi tape um tropical elements is new mini binder clips in the end colors some frames faceted buttons in color flowers the leaf ribbon looks really cool i haven't seen anything at all like that that looks quite unusual and so does the polka dot jewel other colored ribbons that are coming in and some returning fabrics like the sequin trims trim and the baker's twine and so forth and stamping embossed powder in lots of different colors so that's new we've got the traditional old colors so that's okay and the masks have continued and the embossing paste has continued so all of these pretty much standard um, there is a new case of marvelous markers with the new colors in it if you want to get the whole case and the stamp and blends there seems to be a whole lot of those and new ones have come in so that's your alcohol markers and in here the stamparatus is new and it's fantastic it's really great value you can unclip this and move it along and do lots of different sorts of fun things that other stamp positioners don't do so the fact that you can unclip the hinged pieces and move them up and down or across is probably the key thing with this looks like it has some really good magnets there too and you can get spare magnets as well okay we're nearly at the end nearly at the end nearly at the end there's the darling label punch box which was on before but there's also the punch gift bag punch board envelope punch board stamp and trimmer which is just brilliant and the scoring tool and scoring plate what else do we have here and then the punches so the new punches i'll go through quickly four petal flower twinkle builder detail trio vases builder elephant builder bunny builder so they're the new punches coming in everything else is pretty much your adhesives are standard your big shot there is a an embossing plate that's come in so i'm going to go through the new framelets with you all the new thinlets so we have botanical tags thinlets bouncing baby framelets broadway lights framelets candles and confetti framelets chase your dreams framelets delicate lace edgelets foliage frame framelets garden scene framelets gatefold blossoms framelets layered sorry oh, i'll say that again lakeside framelets layering alphabet edgelets nature's roots framelets petite treat framelets pop-up house thinlets puzzle pieces thinlets spot of tea framelets pretty park framelets playful penance framelets springtime impressions thinlets now if you want to figure out which of these are new just look for that little red in which means they're new they've just come in and some more stained glass thinlets stitched labels framelets storybook scene thinlets thank you thinlets this is a nice big thank you shape here which will be very similar to that happy birthday i imagine that i showed you earlier tropical thinlets under the sea framelets and the big shot accessories yes there is an embossing mat use with dies that have decorative ejection holes for additional embossing or use with cutting dies to emboss instead of cut includes impressions pad thin silicon rubber mat and thick silicon rubber mat so that is another accessory for the big shot okay embossing folders now these are there are some old ones some returning ones etc lovely floral climbing vine seasonal wreath striped scallops subtle tufted that tufted looks to me something i might be purchasing <laughs> the basket weaves continued on that's been a very popular one so there's springtime stroll 
pressed flowers, very vintage. The host stamps are very big reductions on what you would normally pay for this amount of stamps. Artfully folded, seasoned with kindness and hand delivered. This is cute. Look at this, big balloons and somebody hiding behind them or a big stack of presents. And these are sweet too. The seasoned with kindness, you can build some little plants in pots. So all a lot of fun. Here's your usual alphabetical list at the back. Stamp set index and the greeting stamp index. This one I find really useful because it has small thumbnails of what's on the front of some of those stamps as well when you're looking for something. And the accessories index in the back. So thank you very much for spending your time with me this morning. It's been so great to know that you are watching to see what all these new products are. I do appreciate anybody who orders with me at aussiestampers.stampinup.net. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.